Symbols. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time coming through, welcome. My name is Gina and today's video is going to cover NARS and this is the Natural Radiant Long Wear Foundation. So we're going to do a wear test with this, of course, as I always do. So let's go ahead and get her open and see because I don't remember what color I got in this one but I picked this one up the same time I picked up the Kat Von D so I'll put somewhere how much this one was I think it was around the same price I'm not sure because last time I said Kat Von D was $50 and that was wrong uh, but we got this one in color I do know here. All right, so that's the color that we are working with, and comes in a glass bottle, has a pump on it, and so we're just gonna go ahead, give it a shake. And this is actually the perfect time for me to do this since we are experiencing some uh, heat waves. There's one pump, two pumps. So I don't know how this color is gonna work on me guys. You already know the deal. <laughs> so, let me see. It's, it's coming off a little light to me, but let's keep going. Okay, so this is basically what we're looking like right now. I can't say that the finish is like a satiny. Um, it is giving me that radiant effect. So already I'm liking it. It's a really, really, really beautiful finish. All right, so let's go ahead and pop a lippy on really quick. Mm -mm -mm. We'll go with this nude color pinky nude okay 
And I will go ahead and pop on some uh, powder. And just using my real technique to do that. Didn't really want to put this because it's going to dull down that the radiance. But we're going to do it anyway because I got to be in the sun and I don't want to be an oily mess. That's not cute. Guys, I apologize for that last video uh, with focusing in and out. I'm still trying to work out the kinks with this uh, camera and get the settings right. So um, I've been just looking at some YouTube videos on what settings to put. Um, I have the Canon T6i. So if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and leave that down below. Um, and I'll be certain to try those out because I don't like when I go like this and it goes out of focus. I, I want it to be clear throughout the whole video. So yeah, we're working on that. All right, so now we've got everything set. Um, I'm not in the mood for blush, haven't been in the mood for blush lately. So we're gonna skip that part and I will be back um, in a few hours. I uh, may even check in with you throughout the day because uh, I got some errands to run. So maybe we'll do like a, I don't know, like a vlog type deal with this um, foundation. And I can check in with you guys and let you see how it's holding up. So other than that, I'll see you in a few hours. Have a great day. Hey, Fancy Beauties and Bowls. Welcome back to the channel. It is 9.20 at night. And it has been a long day, let me tell you, okay? If you guys hear cartoons, it's my grandson. He's upstairs watching TV. So I told him to be as quiet as possible. He's four, so we'll see how quiet that he is, right? <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and wrap up things with this foundation. Again, it is the NARS Radiant Foundation. So this is what my face looks like after hours of me wearing this foundation. I have been running around town and getting errands done. I played with my grandson. We went to McDonald's. I've eaten. So I've come home and I've washed all my wigs and I've done chores around the house and blah, blah, blah. And so this is what my face looks like, right? And I have to say, even though the oils are coming through and I'll, I'll insert a uh, natural light video when I, we were on our way to um, when I was on my way to get the baby so I will pop that picture in somewhere or that clip in somewhere so you guys can see what it looked like in natural light what's up guys so I'm on my way to get little man from daycare so I wanted to just pop my head in here so uh, we could take a look and see what NARS Radiant Foundation is doing, okay? So, this is what we looking like right now. So, just off the bat, I can see some, some oils coming through, but we got a couple more hours to go, so we'll take a look and see what's going on. But, yep. Yeah, what she look like right now. So I'll check back in a little bit later, guys. Um, it's not bad. 
you know, I, I get my oils here in my T-zone area, on my nose, and you know, right around my uh, brow area. And that's where I normally pick up my oils if they're going to shine through with the foundation. Those are the areas I normally get them within my T-zone area. Um, right here in my cheekbone area as well. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is going to transfer. I'm gonna get some transfer off of this. So it's not transfer resistant, unfortunately. I know most of you guys look for that in the foundation, but this one is not going to give it to you. Um, and this is after me setting it with my um, powder. So you can see the product there on my finger, uh, along with the ash. Pardon that. But I've been washing dishes and washing wigs, like I said. But I'm not at all disturbed or unhappy with the foundation like i said once you put it on it gives you a really nice flawless appearance to your skin if that makes sense so the application is really really nice um, it is going to give you that radiant look so i'm an oily girl and i was actually scared to try this foundation because of that but it's not too bad. I did not put the powder underneath before I put the foundation on. I will try that and see if that, you know, makes a difference in keeping some of those oils at bay. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be using this foundation again. I would actually like to try the NARS in the matte form just to see and compare the two. So I may go ahead and pick up a NARS in the one right before this one came out. So I'll look that up and see which one it is. But yeah, guys, these are my thoughts on the foundation. If you already have this foundation and you like it, go ahead and drop those comments down below just so we can get some chitter chatter going in the comment section. But other than that, that's it. And I will see you fancy beauty symbols in the next video. And as always, you know what? You better stay fancy. All right, guys and girls, have a great weekend. And I will catch you in the next video. God bless.